Okay, and we're back. We didn't have a, a great conclusion to the last time. Um, I suppose it could be argued that our Glock kind of let us down twice in a row and uh, got us killed twice, so that's not great. So, mixed feelings about the weapon reliability in this game. Oh, we're actually in yellow territory with the Glock now after that last engagement, so maybe that contributed, but um, either which way, wasn't happy with that. Let's get the magazine now, let's get that out. We'll try to fully gear it up and I guess we'll go back out in the zone and see if we can get that stuff back once more. And I'll follow Obi's advice and quickly check that round. Okay, so in yellow state we do need to give it a quick clean. There we go. Now we just take this and ram it on in there. Okay. I wonder what happens when the uh, magazines start playing up. I'm guessing that could also lead to feed issues. What condition is this one in? Mm. What's the process for cleaning one of these? Do we just brush it? Or uh, do you think... Mm. I've honestly got no idea what the... Approaches for cleaning a mag. Okay, that's a, that did seem to help. Yeah, so I guess we just use the uh, WD-40 and we give them a brush down. Oh. Seems to be doing the trick. Okay, that's probably good enough. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Is this one full? No, not even close. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna need some more ammunition if nothing else. Um, our backpack is empty once more. Get a bit low on supplies here, but we're gonna head back out there and try and recover the stuff that we've lost. That is the plan. It's a go for broke mission to recover and then. Yeah, I suppose we probably. I'm not even sure if we're gonna risk it with the mission, the rest of the mission that we have out there at the moment. We really do just need to get everything done. Or rather, get, uh, get everything back and then we'll worry about all the other details after that, I think. We might buy one more Glock 17 magazine as well, just to be... Uh, just to be a bit more practical about it. There's a lot of, lot of hostile critters in that particular section, so... all one by one or, or having to you know potentially reload a magazine in the middle of that fight that's gonna be yes I think we're good on health and everything else. Yes, we are. It's currently night time, 3.30 a.m. You know what, I might just go out at this time because um, I'm not too bothered by the dark, to be honest. And um, that way, by the time that we actually get out to where we want to be, it should be well and truly uh, daytime. So, it should all work out quite nicely for us. Uh, we've still got all that ammunition there. I guess we'll take the rest of our buckshot. 
risk it. If we end up getting all that stuff back anyway, none of it's gonna matter, we're not gonna worry too much. Alright. So we've got three days and 13 hours to go and get our stuff. I think that's plenty of time. I think we can manage that. Um, I'm not going to worry too much, like I said, about these other missions here for the time being. I really just want to make sure that I get over there, get the stuff back. Um, so I'm going to take the same route that I took last time, because that, uh, this, this way here leads to this way here. So we can effectively rotate that about 90 degrees for the equivalent positions where that goes to on this map. And we want to get back to that place where I died. Not die again, ideally. Um, I'm just going to quickly see if there's an option for body armor, because, uh, Getting shot up is kind of sucking a little bit. So if the option's there, we should probably take it. Oh, there we go. Level 3, of course. Okay, well, I guess we're just toughing it. No problem. Um, yeah, we'll just go with what we've got. Um, hopefully I don't run out of ammunition, but, you know, hopefully uh, that said, there should also be opportunities to get some stuff up along the way. Based on how things went the previous time, uh, most of the route out to the location we need to get to is already cleared because obviously I've killed everything along that way. I'll take the same route that I took last time and um, hopefully not have any trouble this time around. Alright, go straight over the top like last time. Of these orange corpses around. The um, hazmat suit guys. Oh, it's back. Interesting. Maybe I just didn't deal with them the last time. Damn that up. It's going straight past anyway. actually briefly go into that compound there because um, the stuff will have respawned. There weren't that many hostiles in there, I think it was just a few of the walky guys. I do have this knife as well so I might just, you know, shank shank. A shot. Assuming I don't get too beaten up just by uh, being close to them. Seems like it might be a practical option. Okay, well. Die, please. Hmm. Maybe not the most practical option. Alright. Just keep shooting.
maybe um, maybe the stuff that respawns here just doesn't come back in quite such a great volume as uh, the first time around. So maybe that's just how this works. Oh shit! Huh. Pretty quick on the draw, hey! Where the heck did he come from? Was he down here? Like uh, when the rift rolled through, it wasn't really uh, the way that it goes about respawning items. It's not quite as aggressive as uh, obviously spawning the monsters back in. They were a bit sparse on everything, but it's good to see that at least uh, this building has been a bit more profitable for us.
like that last time, so uh, I guess some things do still persist. It's interesting, because uh, that, that, that's where I left that um, explosive container before the rift came through. to have full health coming into this, but um, that's okay. Make do. I'm feeling a little bit better about it this time. We've already killed a couple of them in there. Oh, shit. Okay. Didn't know about that one. Uh, do I pop the injector now? the only one left? I think there's a health injector here as well. I'll quickly grab that, pop it, and then we'll proceed. Looks like all my stuff is still here. This is really good. Is that it? It's a used one. It still worked. Okay, let's just grab everything. We'll sort it all out later. Sneaker. Armor. Pistol, please. There we go. everything that we walked in with? It might be. I don't have the foggers, but we've also got the stuff the other corpse. Oh, shit! Not a bad shot. Anybody else hiding in there? go and deal with the spawner and then I'll get the stuff. Oh, 
wasn't it here last time? Okay, so I did around as well. Might be everything, honestly. It's actually fantastic. It's really good for us. I was not feeling particularly uh, good about how things ended in the last episode, so being able to grab absolutely everything that we had uh, lost is rather spectacular. M much, much better about that. Hey, even a shotgun. Okay. It's the crappy little PM. Is that all of it? No, not quite. Might, might be some stuff around the other side of this wall as well. I'll have to check that. Cool. It's all about buckshot. I'm just going to quickly pass my hand across it in case anything lights up. I think we're good. Right on the side. Oh, there's something. Around. I'm going to have to tidy it all up once we get out of here. Okay. Let's just quickly... Got the sample now. I'm not gonna worry about these ones, you know. If we see another policeman, I'll take a photo if it's safe to do so. We'll, we'll tackle that one later. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we just get out of here with what we've looted. What do we risk it for the biscuit? I feel like... Oh, that's the crane! Okay, cool. I'd heard about that. Have a quick look. Oh, our weight's pretty high, so we're walking very slowly. It's really going to inhibit us in combat. might just be sensible to get out of here for now, as much as I'd like to continue exploring the area. Um, we've still got heaps of time before the next rift, so I'll make out what we've got. Um, you know what? Screw that, you know what? I'm going to kill a couple of these guys, and I really want to get that objective for that next security point, because I want to get a decent gun.
If I kill uh, those two over there as well, does that count towards the mission? It might. Buddy. Let's try eating a knife at this one. So well. Mission stuff is in the little town that's over on that side, so I might risk it. Um, should we just use the double barrel for a while, maybe. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna take the uh, the same way out that we got used to get in here, um, because that way through the uh, train yard is gonna have the uh, other monsters that respawned there. Um, not feeling particularly threatened by them. I think there was only one cop moving uh, through that way, and all the rest were just regular long-armed dudes and uh, one of those little spider things. Now there are a few creatures up here, including one or two with guns, so... There, the other one is inside of that building. Back, so that's on the left side, the second building. We'll go past on the left. Let's go. Uh, wait, pop an injector. I know I'm being risky with this play style, but there's two cops. Maybe we can get a photo.
here. I think there might be a couple more of them around that right side. It's anything like last time. So, just gotta be a little bit careful here. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Light goes on. Hey, that looks a bit more serious. Oh, should have got here. Spits in his machete. Nice. Okay. A little bit of an upgrade on the crappy knife we had before. Don't even know where the knife went. I must have forgotten to pick it up. Cool. Well, maybe that'll kill things a bit more effectively than the crappy little knives that we've been using up until now. We are moving really slowly, by the way. I think, uh, yeah, nearly 40 kilos. It's not going to be a great time trying to get out of here, so I'm just gonna hurry up, get that thing, get out. I think that's the second door. Yeah. Oops. What's mission four? Paparazzi. Yeah, wants us to take photos of the cops. Right. Well, uh, there goes that plan. Try snapping the corpse one more time. So that's what I was hearing. <laughs> Imagine I get blown away out here again. Far out. <laughs> Alright. No worries, let's get this sorted. Where's our uh, item that we're looking for? Presumably somewhere out here. Magazine. No, that's a that's for a um get up. Nice. I did pick up the magazine I dropped yet? Yes I did. Good. It's going to be ridiculous. Lake Max, I think. Five four five. No, seven six two by three nine ten rounders. Cool. slowly whenever I have it on screen. <laughs> Oy. Still haven't found the objective we're looking for though. Every 
time I gotta reach down, unless I look down to see where the gun is, it just doesn't seem to be grabbing. That might be a quest of the two, you know. Uh, this is where the cameras are pointed and so forth. It might just not be tracking when I move it down there. Okay. It might be, I think it's this building here. This is where the um, thing we're looking for is. Also, I, yeah, I dropped my um, probes earlier, so it's just as well. That's some. There it is, found it. Excellent. We did it. Let's just keep that there. Quickly sift through here and then we'll just get the hell out. What are we doing? That. That. That there. Let's just see. Oh, I just want to see what the performance looks like when I have this on screen. Yeah, RTX 3090 takes a dump. <laughs> um, I think the game could use a little bit more of an optimization fast if that's happening. really starting to chug. Okay, let's get out of here. does also want us to kill something up over there, but honestly, I'm thinking we just get the mission done and get the hell out. For $200 extra, I don't care. Fuck. Fuck, please.
screenshot for the uh, <laughs> video, I think. 43 kilo bag. Kind of absurd. That one's dead, right? Yeah, that one's dead. Okay. We just have to put this. Right, so the way out is. Home stretch. He's got a piss bolt through this area and then. Oh, well, maybe not quite piss bolt, but you know what I mean. Play it today. Don't walk in that. Cool. I think it's pretty much safe directly to the truck. best of a bad situation, you know? Um, I honestly wasn't sure if we were, get, we were going to get all of our stuff back after the, uh, the last very unfortunate weapon jam and subsequent death, but yeah, we did it. take him out with the knife. Maybe this knife is going to be a bit more substantial. You never know. Oh. Maybe not. Oh dear. Nope, that does not work so well. In fact, that hardly works at all. Oh my god. Imagine if we died to that right there. Day ruined. Um, I don't want to waste this. Yeah, I probably should. I don't want to risk dying now. Just have to jab the thing. There you go. Okay, so knives kind of suck. I'm not going to use those. Waste of. Um, I'd heard from other people that apparently the knives are supposed to be not too bad for taking out the basic mobs, but that was garbage.
much weight on his back, the stamina does not last long. Oh well. We made it. Maybe I shouldn't have risked it with the knife right at the end there, but that was a little silly, but um oh well. Now we know. Knives suck, don't use them. Pistols for the win. And we finally get that security level. We managed to do it all. <laughs> um, quickly get all that, you know, those mission things turned in. Hope to Christ the game doesn't crash with all the crap we've got in the backpack right now. Um, delivery. Documents. Got it. Yay. New security level. Wonderful. Yeah, screw your optional objective. Okay. Hmm. Do we have to do that first? <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. Fine. Where is the shooting range again? I don't think it will, it should be fine. Okay, oh. I think it's a thousand dollars for completing, uh, completing the training as well, so that's nice. It did give us like, what, 200 or something the last one we did, so... Yeah. Entity and anomalous activity is more severe the closer you get to the center. To have a chance at surviving, Complete the tasks from your mission computer to gain access to top priority missions that unlock your access level. Hmm. Body protection, thank you. Equip one armor piece per your head and body slots, okay? How do I do that? How do I equip this? Long press B or Y with your free hand to enter dressing room. Oh, that makes sense, okay. So now, Bring it close to your torso and release. Aha! Uh -huh, that makes sense. Cool, cool. Alright, now now we know what that means. Shown on your watch. Okay, now we've got the 40 armor points. Got it. To remove armor, move your hand closer to your chest and press grip. The armor in the locker. Okay. We're still in dressing mode, right? There it goes. It just has to be just under the chin, really. The locker. Got it. Headlamp. It can be put on or uh, taken off your head outside of dressing room. Seems like you script. Cool. Headlamp. Make sure with your hand. Press trigger. Hey, cool. Haha, <laughs> that's nice. That's actually really good. That's actually a marked improvement on the uh, other one I was using. Because now I can actually walk, look down at the uh, black grass and, and stuff and. Um, deal with it that way. Cool. That's kind of handy. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and put these on then. Oops. Huh. You can kind of see it a little bit over the top of the um, top of my vision. Now, will this cover up our vision as well? Oh, maybe I can't have that on while I've got the... Yeah, okay, so... Can we put that on on top? No, so it's either one or the other. Got it. Helmet, please. Thank you. Good to know. Might need a sticker up on that as we go further in, I guess. Cool. Consider me protected. Being as stealthy as possible and avoid their line of sight. Okay.
Here's the half. This time he's carrying this thing. Line of sight. If the enemy is not aware of your whereabouts, they can't chase you. Cool. <laughs> Grab the gun and set the magazine switch to firing mode with the mic. Yep, cool. So in this case, most guns have a slide, it is usually on the side or at the back. Yep. Grab the slide with the trigger and pull towards you. No kidding, to put away the gun. Surely, yep, cool. Yeah, I know how a gun works. Cool. These stock's not too bad. Right, safety. Attachments on the weapon, examine them and customize your rifle. Lovely. It's a scar, I think. Okay, so you mess with weapon attachments and dressing mode as well. Cool. Attach four rail B attachments and a suppressor to this rifle. Mm-hmm. Cool. Each rifle has its own attachment points. They can be changed and added in Nice. Rifle with both hands and press. Okay. No, no, yeah, okay. So it's very similar to, to uh, Pavlov in that sense. No worries. Um, well, let's pop them all on, I guess. I'll go for the optic on top. Can I move that back and forth, or no? No, probably not. No worries. And on the side. Underneath works as well. Turn that off. Put that in. Let's chop them out there it is. Okay, we can turn that laser on and off with... supposed to be the trigger when you're gripping with both hands, is it not? I'm trying it the other way around. Nope, nothing. Okay. I'm oh, still in testing mode, am I? I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Oh, okay, it's the button you press, not the trigger. Okay, so you press the button on the offhand to turn the laser on and off. Okay. How's that optic? It's not bad. Safety. Hmm. Do we have a uh, semi-auto mode? So grab the mag. Okay, it's got a mag release button. Oh, okay, okay, so you can't just yoink the mags off, you actually have to hit the mag release first and then you can grab it. Okay, that makes, makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I 
the position where your hand needs to be to grip the front of the gun is a little bit specific. It's, too, uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, the side to side's not so good. The forward to back is alright. Mm. Okay. So different types of ammunition each one is good for certain situations. Come on. Oh, you can move the, the buttstock back and forth. That's nice. It's a good feature. This is actually a pretty good-looking MP5K. I think it's a little... Is it a little small? I think it might be a little bit small. Compared to the real... Right. Maybe it's just me. It seems like it's a little bit small. Is this one loaded? It looks to be, yep. FMJ. I guess we may as well put a suppressor on it. I wonder if the suppressors wear out over time as well. Or well, maybe I can just shut. Yeah, it's got a condition, so presumably it does. Okay. Now, is that gonna be. Oops. Another button. button. Might swap those around because that's the opposite to what I'm used to. smoke out the end of the uh, muzzle when you fire this thing. I'm pretty sure they're not quite that smoky. But, uh, all good. Yep, once again you've got to hit the mag release before you actually take the mag out. Fair enough. Let's burst fire. Subsonic sound like. Cool. In terms of ammunition usage, that's uh, a little quick. Yeah. Especially with the. I mean, we don't exactly have a vast abundance of ammunition right now, but I think we're very careful with it all. But, um, Beware of the tide! It's kind of this phenomenon resets things inside the radius and happens at fixed intervals. Check your tide meter and plan accordingly. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, we've done that. So that's it, $3,000 reduce. And our backpack is still running over, excellent. Okay, um, I might wrap up the last of this video just by putting all this stuff away. And we might make a couple of purchase uh, purchases as well, actually. Um, I'm, I've decided I probably won't go for the MP5K at this time, simply because um, the ammo, ammo expenditure is just absolutely off the frickin' wall. It's, uh, it's pretty gnarly. Um, probably a bit excessive. However... We did that for one of the other missions, so I'll just set that aside for a minute. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, the, the pump action shotgun though, I'm probably going to grab one of those, because I think um, with all the buckshot that we've got now, that's probably going to be the best use for that. I don't want to stack things because... Um, 
one of my buddies who's played this game in the past was mentioning, uh, Sia said you know, he had a great big loose ammo pile at one stage and he went to reach in, grab a bullet, <laughs> and everything went everywhere. Uh, he was picking up bullets for God knows how long, and um, you reckon several of them probably clipped through the world as well, and just, yeah, no, not a good time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to avoid doing that. Got a little collection of these things. Um, given that, you know, I'm only ever going to take these things out into the field if they're on me, I don't think I can actually lose this because you don't lose items that are on your body when you die, so I don't think there's any situation where I need to actually keep that on me. But anyway. Behold my monocular collect collection. things and deal with it all later. Yoink, yoink. Ha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one. That is quite empty. Over the fire you go. Here. <laughs> Tries not to stack things, accidentally stacks things. Put that there. Stacking these. Well, they haven't exploded yet, so. Never, never say never. fixed up one of the I think we have a couple of PMs in here now because one of them is that really really shitty rusty one the other one is the one that we actually had um, that got lost the first time around so I think that'll still be around um, the uh, the rusty one we'll probably just get rid of mm -hmm. that's all fully loaded yep cool uh, yeah, I'll probably dump this one, so I'll just put it aside for the moment. Um, 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 put you in there. Work that all out later. Health injector, yay. Let's slowly start to rebuild our collection of health injectors, because all I've done is hemorrhage them lately. By being a bit of a dingbat and checking everything out. And trying, to, trying to stab things with knives, that was a great idea. Um, there's our 762 by 39 mags, we'll just pop them here. There you go. Fair enough. Oh. Right Slightly slow process going through all of this, but honestly, I don't mind the inventory management. It's, um, it's mildly cathartic. Is there other light? Oh, that's gone green now. That was red when we put it into the uh, into the box. Can we change it? Oh, you can! Oh, that, I'm pressing the other button right now. It switches between green and red. That's cool. I didn't know these could do that. Sick. All right. That's kind of cool. Um, I'll pop you there or something. I don't know. Maybe with the yeah gadgets there. That's fine. So grenade. Or is this more PM? Yes, yeah, more PM. Okay. More PM. Gosh, we have a lot of PM magazines. When did we accumulate all of these? Whatever. Did my door just open? No. That's an empty box. Cigarettes. More brushes, more. <laughs> God. Onto the brush pile with ye. More lighters. I should probably start selling all the, like, ridiculously excess stuff because I have a funny feeling it probably will be hitting performance. Eh. 
Which they seems to be stable now. Maybe, maybe not. Perhaps I'm wrong. Although it does seem a little bit framey when I'm walking around. Um, OVR toolkit saying I'm at 90 frames a second. I'm not sure if I believe that though. Um, there's our Keta magazine. We already have one of these. We'll put this up with the other one. The other one's like busted as hell. Stay. Good. One more buckshot. So I think we've got around about 30 or so. Hold on. Yeah, we've got like 30 or so buckshot there, and then there's also all the buckshot that's currently on the side of this and loaded. So, yeah, we're going to have heaps of buckshot ready to go for the pump action shotgun when we grab that. So that's definitely going to be, I think that's going to be the same choice. Um, whatever we have a vast abundance of ammunition for is what we should be buying, I feel, at this time. Because um, ammunition isn't cheap in this game. In fact, it's hideously expensive. Um, yeah. So, that's what we'll do. Put you in there. I think all of these are full, aren't they? All these pianos are full. I'll just put this in. The other one. There we go. Sit you on top. And of course, I randomly pull out another PM round. It's beginning to look like a, a bomb shelter in here. We're pretty well stocked. Aha, another one of these things. Put you there. Kind of a thing. Let's throw these guys off, all of them. Yep, stay there. Yep, good. That can go in here. Cool. Yeah. Smokes. Jeez, how much food did I get? Oh, another one of these. They're kind of cool. They're, like, this are easily the coolest looking uh, monster parts, I guess. Well, monster parts, I don't know. It's, it's like the only thing we've gotten out of any monsters so far, so I wouldn't know any better. Yeah, we can load up our um, TT a little bit. Maybe not fully, but uh, actually. Is that a fully loaded one more? One shot. Okay. Does that have one in the chamber? It does. Cool. Whoops. Come back, little TT. Come back. There we go. Uh, aha, there's our PM that doesn't suck. Which is fully loaded as well. I'll probably give that a little bit of a clean up before um, the next video or something. For now, set that over here with all of these, this ridiculous stack of PM magazines. Put you down there. This one doesn't seem to want to go away. So that more or less confirms that uh, it is actually the fire that's causing those things to despawn, which is nice. Um, I appreciate that. Because it was right at the edge, that, that, that little box there, and... All the previous ones that I'd popped on top, they did despawn, but that one that was on the edge did not. <clears throat> That's a cool feature. Oh, another one of these things. How many did I get? I've forgotten how many of those uh, respawners I've killed. Hmm. Clearly I don't eat enough. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, as they say. All of the brushes, more lighters. Brush, brush, brushy, brushy, brushy. Brush pile. This can be the video <laughs> image, actually. Just all of the brushes. OK, 
feel like I've just come back from a ludicrously busy shopping trip. Cool. Off to spawn hell you go. Um, back on this shotgun, I guess. not full. It is now full. Cool. One spare bullet. Another PM. Uh, let's put that on the in the ketamag, actually. There we go. Oops. Oh, stay. Good. And last one. We did it. We emptied the whole thing. Okay, now let's go sell that last, the last of that crap there. Um, we're going to sell this sticky PM as well. Can we even sell it when it's in this poor condition? Hopefully. Remember when I tried to fire that thing, it just kept misfiring. It was so unreliable, it was insane. Uh, this is coming with us as well, because I think that's a mission-related thing. Okay, all the rest of this... Let's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just go with those for now. That's fine. We really don't... I've only got that one healing syringe, because I just burned through them. But... Overall, this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how uh, our little collection of gadgets and gizmos and weapons and so forth so far. Considering that's all just stuff that we pulled out of the zone and just the initial areas of that. So, um, okay. Alright, uh, let's do the delivery first. Which one is it? last photo because the cops just keep uh, not agreeing with our camera or rather the camera's like no no nothing visible here move along sir um four more kills we require okay might as well heal up while I'm here and start selling 36 dollars for the crappy pm sure I'll have it Uh, let's uh, have a quick looky because now we can we have access to more stuff, which is wonderful. Uh, do we? I feel like we want this. I feel like that's a good choice. Like a 27 round magazine firing uh, 9x18. That's pretty baller. I know we've got a couple of uh, 20 round mags for the Keta, but um, I got mixed feelings about the Keta. A, like it's it's a gonna burn through your ammunition very quickly but the other thing is Ketas are very well known for being incredibly unreliable weapons um, and that probably translates quite well to this game given how frequently we've had weapons jam on us so far so I'm not willing to trust a Keta uh, with my life so OC33 I think is gonna be the way to go it's quite expensive at $2,200 so I'll maybe stick with the Glock for now or uh, that's not a Glock that's PM but I might stick with the Glock for now um, we do have a lot of PM ammunition though. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Um, I'll, I'll contemplate that. Might get that. Uh, so we got number 19. We can get the MP5K. I know I said in the previous video or two ago that I was going to get one of those, but I really don't like the ammunition burn rate on those, to be honest. Um, the Glock is good. Um, it's just, yeah, I was really hoping it would be a bit more reliable in this game. It just hasn't been. TT, yeah, yep. Don't worry about that. There is our pump action shotgun. We definitely want one of those. Let's just have a quick look here. How much does the ammo go for, actually? That's a box of 10 for $110. Ugh. It's kind of yuck. I guess it's not the worst deal in the world. It seems to, I mean, it's a lot more expensive than IRL, right? 545 uh, firing weapons, we don't have any access to any of those yet. 556 we definitely won't have access to, no. 762... We can get the SKS! Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, of course, the SKS takes the um, 10 round mags, the 7.62 by 39 and 10 rounders. I wonder if you can pop one of You should be able to pop a regular AKM 30 round magazine into an SKS, can't you? I think you can. I might actually get an SKS. Thing is, we don't really have much SKS, uh, rather, 762 by 39 ammunition. So I'm definitely, I'm dead set on the pump action shotgun. So we'll definitely get that. Um, by 39s, yeah, it's all, that's outside of that position right now. Yeah, that's happening. Oh, I like that you've got the extra rounds on the side of the Mosin, that's kind of nice. The butt stop. So, let's get the, let's get the pump action shotgun first, let's get that sorted. I feel like that's going to be a good choice. Hopefully I don't just find one out there in the wastelands or something. But, uh, I, yeah, I think that's... Something that we do want to get. Current time. Wonderful. Cool. Very cool. Put that there. Uh, yep. You know what? I'm just going to quickly go ahead and get this sorted. Because I'm not going to be taking this in anymore. Obviously. Five shots total. We got one that's inside the actual chamber, and then can you can you do that while it's yeah you can while it's actually got unloaded. Oh, it's white now. I assume that's just some sort of weapon modeling thing. Okay, but at least we can check to make sure we've got one loaded. Um, cool. So we got the one in the chamber, and then four inside of the magazine, the the uh, underbarrel magazine. So that's cool. And we can pop extras on the side. Wonderful. Let's swap these around real quick. Show sure there. Let's see how the. Yeah, that's pretty good. No rear iron sight, obviously, but um, not terribly worried about that. I think I can eyeball it fine. I wonder what modding options it has. Look at um, so for our little block here, we probably have a few options. Right, the rail. Entrance. We can get a laser. We probably don't need it, honestly. I feel like my aim is pretty decent, but also kind of nice to have anyway. Also, actually, that in the, that. we can get a headlamp. Well, definitely want one of those. That's a no-brainer. Um, yep. Is there anything else actually that makes sense to grab while we're here? That equipment. Nope. Armor. Are we getting any armor? Get a gas mask. I don't think we need that. It's all fine. We might actually need some cleaning spray soonish because I think mine's just about run out. But we'll buy some when we need it. I just like pre-buying it, I think. Just get it when it's required. Pistol suppressor, okay. Um, as far as the suppressor is concerned, also, okay, that block doesn't have a sort of mount for that. But I think we can throw... Oh, actually, if we take this over to the upgrade section, I think we can upgrade this to have bits and pieces necessary to make that work. Anyway, let's get these parts first. Nice. Can I just slap that on? Or? Yep, nice. Easy. You on my head? Ha <laughs> so cool. Let's turn that off for the moment. And we'll turn this one off as well. That's a pretty good laser, honestly. That's 
that's super visible. Let's try it at long, longer distance. Yeah, that's still fine, honestly. It trails a little bit, but that's a okay. Target acquisition is going to be super simple. Very nice. Yeah, I think that's actually worth having. And we can switch it off as well, press the button. Yep. Apparently the monsters will actually be able to, you know, see you more visibly when you put the laser on versus when you don't have it on. So that's something to be wary of, I guess. But that's alright there. Um, yeah, upgrade. Place the base site with the scope mounts, okay. I don't think you'd ever want to, honestly. The irons on this are pretty good. Just a suppressor adapter, though. Also, increased accuracy. Like, <sighs> how? Um, what are you, like, improving the threading of the barrel or something like that? <sighs> I don't know, man. I feel like the gun should shoot straight and where you point it. <laughs> like, if, the, if there's some sort of arbitrary, like, randomness value going on with this thing that randomly means that some bullets are going off to the side, I don't like that. <laughs> um, but I haven't noticed it missing shots, you know, too obviously. Um, I think, generally speaking, all the shots that I've missed so far have been my own fault, I think. <laughs> um, I might get the pistol suppressor right after, though. How much is the actual suppressor? 650... 300. Uh, so just shy of a thousand all up. Yeah, nine, 950 if we want to throw a suppressor on there. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about upsetting monsters and I don't want to go out of my way to buy subsonic rounds if they're stupidly more expensive. Let me just see here. How much subsonics? Hmm. Yeah, it's actually the same price as FMJ. The velocity is lower though, of course, so might need to lead targets a little bit. That being said, just about everything that I've encountered so far has been pretty slow moving, so I don't think velocity is a huge concern. It's more so going to be bullet drop that we have to worry about at longer distance shots, but yeah. Um, I'll think about it. Maybe, eh, I might just pop it on there. I mean, technically, FMJ rounds are still going to go on through just fine. One sec, my phone is ringing. I am maybe going to throw a pistol suppressor on. The, other, the only other thing is, if I throw a suppressor on there, it might slightly cover up the iron sights, and I'm not, I'm really not a big fan of that. I want to make sure I can, I want that target acquisition to be good, whether I've got a laser or not. So, you know what? I don't think I'm going to worry about it for now. Um... Can I repair it, by the way, when it's, uh, not messed up? You can. Okay, cool. Uh, I can do that myself, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it's good to know that you can actually repair it, even when it's not in a particularly terrible state. I might throw the magazines in there, though, because I just don't want to be fucking ass. Yep, I'll just pay to get that done. problems. Cool. It's got that sorted. I assume that this comes fully, yeah, good, good condition, as you would hope so. Um, I am going to need some more ammunition though, so I'm going to get that. Clock's been doing all right for us, I, I would say. Pretty happy with it overall so far. One more of those, I guess.
I say one in the mag, I mean uh, one in the yeah, you know what I mean. Magazine well, the one that's currently loaded into the weapon. <laughs> My headlight? I have no idea. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and get the um, new shotgun all loaded up as well. Well, I mean, it's already loaded, but you know what I mean. Saw through. Perfect. I'll probably. Yeah, I'll work out what I'm taking now. Why not? I was going to say next next video, but I'll quickly pop this in there, from there, oh. what's this? Yeah, it's just not anything, it's just hanging in the breeze, whatever. That's a lot of PM mags, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus presumably one loaded, 10, okay. So we got uh, 80 rounds there, plus the one in the chamber, so it's 81. So 81 PM rounds there, and whatever else is up there, 25 plus 7. So we've actually got over 100 uh, 9x18s. Maybe I will get that other uh, pistol. It does seem like a sensible choice right now. contemplate it and I might do that in the next video. Anyway, for now that'll do. Let's just quickly clean this up and then we get rolling. Oh, it actually worked it out and didn't do the magazine this time. Good. Mm -hmm. Bit of a funny angle to be doing that on, but fine. As long as this thing fires reliably because there's no more of that bullshit that we got last time. Cool, alright. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a limited number of uses on this thing. It doesn't seem to be. Should probably pick up these random notes. Put them somewhere rather than just scattering them all over the floor like a like a filthy animal. Put them in the drawer or something. kind of go everywhere, don't they? Those are some invisibly thick sheets. There we go. Close that up. I don't have to worry about it again. Oh, there's another one. Ah, of course there is. Physical needs. Don't we all have physical needs? Just like that, YouTube no longer Let's my videos show up for a certain audience. Cool. All right. Close this up. Close that up. We actually <laughs> does the tea do anything? Like I wonder. Nah, it doesn't. That's just for show. Bugger. <laughs> I feel like that was a missed opportunity there. Okay, so we've still got three three jobs to do. Um, oh, we do have another top priority job. What's this one? Find artifacts. The unknown. Okay. Need a gas mask. Okay. Cool. 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 Whereabouts does it have us going? It's in the village, right? Cool. Whereabouts in the village? Oh, I think that is the area where, with all those anomalies. So, yep, the gas mask probably makes sense for that one. Um, and the other three missions that we currently have are all in that same space as well. So, we will definitely go back in there again. We've got all our stuff back, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I think next time we're going to be going in there feeling a lot more confident about how we're going to deal with the situation. We don't need to go back into this 
area again with its uh, AK soldiers and bloody MP5 soldiers and whatever else. Uh, we don't have body armor yet to deal with that, so... Um, and we definitely don't want our bloody blocks jamming on us middle of, in the middle of the fight. That's the, just the worst. I mean, I basically spent this entire episode recovering from that one, inst you know, that one mistake, so... Wonderful. But, at least we're done now. We've got all of our stuff back. Kitchen's looking pretty well stocked. I can't believe how much food we've got. That's insane. Um... Okay. All of these look like they'll be interesting next time around, but for now, I'm going to call it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I actually, I had a good time this one. I'm, I'm glad that we were able to, you know, fully recover from last episode's mistakes and um, even, you know, get some new equipment, uh, improve what we already had, recognize that obviously weapon maintenance alone. <laughs> is going to get you most of the way there and a little bit of it is, is, is definitely luck as far as ensuring that uh, your weapons don't conk out on you in the middle of a fight and get you killed. But um, apparently that's just how this game is a little bit, so whatever, we'll deal with it. That is just about empty. Cool. And on that note... Oops, no, we don't want to go into dressing mode. We're going to go menu. I'll just click this button in. There we go. Save game. Save that up. And back to the main menu we go. Cool. Well, I hope uh, if you've been watching that you've enjoyed. And uh, see you on the next one. Where we go back into the village <laughs> once more and, and do a bunch more missions, I'm, I'm certain. And uh, hopefully don't die this time. That's definitely at the top of the priority list. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway. Uh, here we are. Let's go ahead and... Shut off the recording and see you later.